A lot of terms are like that, though. They could be great news, but they ain't. In 2017, the Lake District was declared to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And there was much similar, gleeful clapping. No one seemed to get the point. When somewhere is placed under UN protection that might be because it needs the UN to protect it. Back for a welcome second season, the Yorkshire Dales and the Lakes, Saturday, more for, took a more hopeful view. Although this gentle show is stuffed with scenic vistas, it is not like those celeb led tourist jaunts of the national parks on ITV. The focus is on the people dwelling in these beautiful places, striving to keep them and themselves alive. From Barbin on the west of the Dales, there came a story full of hope but signaling the levels of concern such small communities live with. The bells of St. Bartholomew's Church had rung every Sunday since 1898, now they had fallen silent, due to a leaky belfry. Some town planning type in his town office could easily assume that a village church, attended by dwindling numbers, had no need of a belfry or a bell. People generally are the best judges of what they need, though, and the effort. Barbin's folk put into raising funds for the repairs told us everything. A silent church was a death knell of its own. The effort the bell ringers put in class, well as welcoming ten-year-old fledgling ringer William, spoke of a community that could see the future. That was plain, too, at the Westmoreland County show, which was fair crawling. With young life bovine, equine and human. In many places kids are feared, or ignored or disdained. In the country they are valued, because the greatest threat is them. Leaving. Talking of which one whiff of Westminster and Ross Polduck, Sunday, BBC One, was off leaving his mine and struggling wife for months on end. Ross and Demelza remind me of those couples you can only take in small doses. When they are together, they are bickering, having dramatic fallouts and equally dramatic reconciliations. Fortunately, the niggling pair at Nampara were apart for much of last night, Ross, Aidan Turner, giving rousing speeches in the house and flirting with floozies when he wasn't. News of trouble at the mine brought him back though, on horseback of course, and straight into a tetchy session with his missus. You look thinner, he said to Demelza as he dismounted. He followed this charming intro with what have you been up to, which in some households would see you dispatched to hospital with crockery wounds. Demelza, Eleanor Tomlinson, merely took it on the Chin and later, when the lads accused Ross of being caught up in London matters, encouraged him to go fishing with them. On arriving beachside, the new member for Truro found a mass brawl taking place and joined in with some very unparliamentary behaviour. The baddies are always more interesting, though, and we got a treat in newcomer, Monk Adderley. Max Bennett. What a name. What a splendid rotter. Health. How the NHS changed our world. 7 p.m. BBC 2 celebrating the incredible work of the Royal Papworth Hospital. This five-part documentary from the BBC East team discovers how the facility led the way in pioneering heart transplants following the creation of the NHS. Dr. Giles Yeo is our narrator and guide throughout and he explores the fascinating history behind the hospital, which is now regarded as one of the country's leading heart transplant centers. It was only the determination of doctors and patients that made it possible to overcome technical difficulties and win over public opinion to this new and very controversial treatment. Look out for a contribution this evening from comedian Eddie Large, a former Papworth patient. Politics, inside the American Embassy, 10 p.m. C4 The mind boggles at the thought of the things that have been said and heard within the four walls of the American Embassy since Donald Trump became U.S. President. This new documentary, filmed over a nine-month period in London, goes behind the scenes to examine diplomacy in the age 
of Trump. The first edition follows new Ambassador Woody Johnson, left during his first six months in office. Britain's Best Junior Doctors, 7.30 p.m., BBC Two continuing the medical theme to our choices. We bring to your attention this new BBC Two quiz show. We think the creators have missed a trick because the two teams of junior doctors from teaching hospitals around Britain who compete are not asked to play the board game operation at any point. They are, however, tasked with prioritizing cases in a mock A. Food and drink, food unwrapped, 8.30 p.m. C4 If we said there was a link between meat and butterflies, would you be able to work out what it was? If not, then, Kate Quilton, above, has the solution tonight, but be warned, the answer is really rather bizarre. She is full of answers as later in the show she explains what the odd rainbow pattern is that appears on cooked ham and whether or not people are safe to eat it when it has reached that stage. Crime, traffic cops, on the Edge, 10 p.m., Channel 5 in this week's installment of the On the Road crime documentary, host Jamie Theakston, Wright, focuses on the battle against shoplifters. Julian is seen pursuing two suspects whose getaway car crashed while James arrests the same man twice. Later, he and Lauren pull over an organized gang of thieves, only for one of them to collapse of a heroin overdose. Tonight marks the midway point of another interesting series of this show.